Some breaking news within the last half hour. President Donald Trump tweeted that he did share facts related to terrorism and airline flight safety with Russian officials. Last week's meeting raised some eyebrows because of timing. It came just after the president fired FBI Director James Comey in the middle of the agency's investigation into Russia's 2016 election meddling. Reed Binion reports. It is very, very, very damaging. House Minority Leader Democrat Nancy Pelosi reacting to a report that President Trump shared highly classified information with Russian officials last week. This is a very serious matter. Uh, this is a code word source, highly classified information revealed to an adversarial country. The president met Wednesday with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Russian Ambassador to the U.S. Sergei Kislyak. The Washington Post first reported Monday that Trump gave them details about how ISIS hopes to use laptop computers as bombs on planes. Two former officials with knowledge of the situation tell CNN that the main points of the Post story are accurate. The administration is pushing back on the report. At no time, at no time, were intelligence sources or methods discussed. I was in the room. It didn't happen. The problem, the Washington Post report didn't say that Trump had revealed sources and methods, a point underscored by the paper's national security correspondent, Greg Miller. The White House is playing word games here to that effect to try to, uh, to, try to blunt the impact of this story. The concern is that the Russians could use what Trump did tell them to figure out the highly sensitive source of the information. In the wake of the news, even some Republicans are expressing concern. Senator Bob Corker saying of the administration, quote, they are in a downward spiral right now and have got to figure out a way to come to grips with all that's happening. I'm Reed Binion reporting. Now here is more of what President Trump just tweeted this morning, quote, as president, I wanted to share with Russia at an openly scheduled White House meeting, which I have the absolute right to do, facts pertaining to terrorism and airline flight safety, humanitarian reasons, plus I want Russia to greatly step up their fight against ISIS and terrorism.